What's up guys, Barry here at Barry Fast Cars. I'm talking uh, about the 911R today, which is one hell of a car that, uh, it was debut, it debuted at Geneva Auto Show, at the Geneva Auto Show, just about a month ago, eh, it was a little less than a month ago, it was like three weeks ago, and it was actually just shown in the US for the first time, so now I just decided to make a video on it. Um, I didn't get super excited for it at first, but now that I'm researching it more, because 911s come along all the time, and I'm a huge Porsche fan, huge. If you follow me on Instagram, very fast cars, you'll see a lot of Porsche stuff that, because I go to a lot of Porsche events. So follow me on Instagram, very fast cars, and um, you'll see some pretty sexy pictures of Porsches. So I'm a huge Porsche fan, but sometimes they just get lost in the, in the fray. And there were some really cool cars unveiled at, um, at Geneva. So a, a very tame looking 911 just kind of went under the radar for me. I'm weird, I guess, what have you. Um, I'm gonna switch the lighting and show you some pictures. All right, there she blows. Let's zoom in on that bad girl. Oh yes, oh yes. All righty. Okay, so this is the 911R. What we're looking at here is essentially a GT3 RS. It has the four liter direct injected 500 horsepower flat six. Fuck me, that's amazing. <laughs> Naturally aspirated, 500 horsepower, six cylinder. Stop now. Oh my goodness. Okay, one thing I have to get out of the way right now that really annoys me about this car, why is it using the old front bumper? There is no need. Um, I would have much rather seen the turbo front bumper, because this is like the old DRL design with like the, you know, the the oozing over the intake situation. It's the GT3 front end, so I mean, I get it, but it looks like an old car now that they have the facelift out. The 991.2 is what most people call it. Other than that though, pretty gorgeous design. We have the, the um, extractor right here. Air comes in and comes out there, goes over the car. We have the blacked out headlights, which might be an option, but we'll find out when the configurator is available and 20-inch uh, wheels. I think they might be 21s in back. These might be the same tires that are on the 918. Let's go on to some more press photos. Nice diffuser down here. I don't recall that from other vehicles, but we have... Oh, you can't see it on the camera. Maybe I can zoom in a little further. And it will pick it up. It doesn't look like it's going to. Maybe it will. Uh, there's little, like, diffuser straights down here, which is pretty cool. Center exhaust, just like a GT3. Uh, a nice, a different design for the, um, whatever you call it, the grill, <laughs> to get air inside that engine bay. There it is, zooming through a mountain pass with a little bit of Photoshop going <laughs> in tow. There she blows. Carbon ceramic brakes, standard, I do suspect. Um, and the piece de resistance is right over here. Those seats, and what do you know? What do you know? Look at that. This car has a six-speed manual transmission with 500 horsepower, rear-wheel steering, and with fluids, just over 3,000 pounds. I don't know if it gets any better than that. <laughs> Maybe that's just me, but these seats are just the business. Carbon back. The carbon back buckets, these are most likely not legal in the United States, um, I do not believe, because they need to have um, side um, airbags, which these do not have. Um, I could be wrong, they could have integrated them somewhere else. We have the nylon strap door handle pulls, which is just one of the coolest. Uh, one of the least coolest things is the, the clock on the dash, which is not a clock, it's like a t stopwatch. If they made that a clock, that would be cooler, because it'd be arguably more functional. Um, of course, the updated um, cluster and, and center console with the new screen and whatnot, so that's all updated. It's a, the updated car, but without <laughs> without the updated front bumper, which kind of annoys me. Uh, let's see if we got any other sexy pictures. Boom. 
Mountain Pass again. You're zooming down a road somewhere in the world. Uh, I don't know what kind of what tire size this is rocking, but it's got to be something pretty hot. It's got this awesome indentation starting on the hood and going onto the roof. Of course, it's not on the back there. Um, no wing. No wing, interestingly enough. It does have the active arrow, um, like a, you know, a, a Carrera or a Carrera S. But yeah, no, no ginormous wing like a, like a GT3. So very low key. I don't know if these stripes are optional. Um, I don't think the configurator's up. I should verify that. But you want to verify it with me, guys? Let's do it. Let's find out. Now that you've seen the car, well, let's do a, a cockpit display. That steering wheel. That steering wheel. Let's zoom in on that just so you can see what I'm on about. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the best steering wheel in the business. Best steering wheel in the business. Bar none. Uh, you still have your you know, cruise control and malarkey like that. No buttons. Who the hell is going to be listening to a stereo when you have a 500 horsepower flat six behind you? Yeah, it? <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, really clean. Net, I mean, it's carbon fiber detailing up through here. Carbon fiber, really low key. Carbon fiber across here. Oh, these the hounds tooth carbon buckets. <laughs> I need those in my life. I need the carbon buckets in my life. Um, maybe I'm just going to move to Europe for that. <laughs> All right, let's see if it's on the website. Boom. Porsche.com. Of course, I go there regularly because they have one of the best configurators in the business. Zoom out a little further. Let's see here. This is my version of, of screen recording. <laughs> North America, United States. 911. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's the Concept E. The cup club sport, I saw that. There it is. Wow, that was some timing. The principle of purity. Let's see if it works. Will it work? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Ooh. That's exciting. Um, is there no. I don't think this is where I'd configure it anyway. Usually you go to the build, a, build your Porsche. 911. Put on here. 911R, $184,900. You must add, also add one of the following options air conditioning delete or air conditioning. It's the same price. I will go with air conditioning. You must also add one of the following options dual mass flywheel, single mass flywheel with reinforced clutch. Whoa, $3,600. I think I'm good with the regular flywheel, boys. We'll accept those changes. Okay, so it is very, very low key. Would you look at that? No stripes, no nothing. Very low key. Wow. Gosh, you could just stomp people with this car. That's not cheap, though. Standard color, white or GT silver. Oh, you got to go silver, in my opinion. That's a $3,000 option, usually. So you got to go with the silver. I'm a, I'm a huge fan of silver. You get the contrast needed. It just... Porsches in silver work so well. <laughs> Those wheels look gigantic, I gotta say. There it is, low key as. Oh my gosh, no stereo, how cool is that? I, I might honestly keep it that way if I was gonna buy it. I might. <laughs> I'm in the US, it's showing the buckets, boys. It is showing the buckets. Um. Partial leather, boom, boom, standard interior. Does it show the seats? Full bucket seats. Oh, wow. There it is. Full bucket, motorsport derived, unhinged seats made of carbon fiber. Seat designed to provide a high level, level of lateral support. Those are legal. My day is made. Does it show the stripes option on here? It does not. Well, that's that, boys. I've shown you how I would configure it because I don't think I'd do anything else. It's got the 500 horsepower. It's got the manual transmission. It's got the carbon brakes. Best Porsche model right now? I might say so. 
I might say so. We'll zoom out there real quick and leave it at that. I know you can't see me, it's all good. Backlighting, not front lighting. All right, that's the 911R. On to the next one. Later guys, see ya.